Hey everybody, I hope all of you are having a good new year, 2022. I came outside and noticed the sky looks so beautiful, I just want to make a video. And share it with all of you. So my next video, video number 38. will be live next week. Electric Mist. Now here's a uh, sneak peek of what Electric Mist is. At least that's what I believe it is. Now I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Well, it was better during the daytime or when the sun was still up. Okay, here we go. Now you look at this mountain right here. You see this mountain? The one in the front? And then the one in the back? The color are two different tones. The one in the back is lighter. The one in the back looks like there's a, um, some type of grayish tint to it. Do you see it? There was a different color. Well, what that is, that grayish tint, it's actually everywhere. It's right here where I'm standing. But, I don't see it. But, you can see it, or I can see it, we can all see it in the distance. If I was to be standing right over there, on the top of this, this peak right here, this first mountain, and look back towards this direction, I will see the same grayish tint Does that make any sense? If not, don't worry. Video number 38, I will explain. For now, When you're outside, look into the distance and try to identify this grayish tint. Some would call it smog. Others will call it chemtrail particles falling from the sky. I say it's it has both. But there's more to it. And I will show you and prove and support my claim on this electric mist. So if you live near mountains, just observe during the day, just look around you, look into the distance and see if you can identify this grayish electric mist.
but I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, focus the camera but my video is coming out next week I hope all of you are doing well Shim Hong signing out